Okay, number three. So the random variable y has a normal distribution of mean mu and standard deviation sigma. Okay. Now the probability that y is bigger than 17 is 0 0.4. So that is the line over here. And the area bigger than 17 is 0 0.4. Okay. Just know that the left hand side is 0 0.5. And this little gap between the mean and 17 must be 0 0.1. The one thing to know about normal distributions is that it's always symmetrical about the mean, okay? So this is something we just need to know off the bat. And this will be helpful for solving every problem. Now, A. Find the probability that y is between the mean and 17. So that's literally this small small region here, which is 0 0.1. So we've already solved this one. And you can see it over here. Now, B. Find the probability that y is between mu minus sigma and 17. Now to plot this carefully, we know where 17 is because we showed it in the beginning. 17 is on the right hand side. But mu minus sigma, because it's the mean take away some variable, it's going to be less than the mean of course. So it has to be here. So this means we're really interested in the yellow shade region between that range. Now if we have to label every area, which is helpful by the way, we know that this part is 0 0.4, this part is 0 0.1. So we know part of the area. The only thing we need to work out is the area of A. But to do it, to make it more easy, it's easier to work out the area of B because it's only less than. You're not finding between areas. So here, let's work with B. So to do this, you will find the property that Y is less than mu minus sigma. And then, of course, transform it to the Z form where you have to firstly do, do the variable minus the mean over sigma. And then when you get here, you can probably realize that we can actually simplify because you've got mu take away mu, which is cancels out. And then you're left with a um, minus sigma over sigma, which again cancels out and you're left with minus one. Now that's the easy bit. From here, you can realize that you on the normal distribution table, so let me just quickly flick over to it. Your only given table values with um, Z values are all positive. You see that, so from zero, and this is just a, this is just a snippet of it. We cannot have negative Z values. So a, a trick I always do is to always take out the minus sign and do one minus. So to do this, is always one minus the symmetrical bit. And then you can look in the table for one. So now going back in the table, we can see that when the property of Z less than one, so this is again the form they want, it should always be the less than form. If Z is little Z is one, which I did here, we look at the table for one and one is over there. And then that's equivalent to a probability value of 0.8413. So this phi Z is actually, um, a notation for property of, of the random variable being less than z. So this is a cumulative distribution. That's why the values are increasing. So let's go back to the question. So we know that this is 0 0.8413. So 1 minus this will give us 0 0.1587. That is the region of B. And therefore A is easy because A plus B must equal half. So then just subtract 0 0.5 from B, you're going to get A, which is 0 0.3413. And then to find and then to answer the question, we want the yellow region. So that's the that's the um, that's when you add up point one and a, and that should finally give us point four four one three. And that's it, guys. All done.